had this amazing freaking crazy idea literally I think like eight hours ago or something and it's been like bubbling up inside of me so one of the things that I really 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 want to do more of is working with you so I'm going to share what it is in a sec but I actually I want to call um someone from my team I'm going to call Erica and just tell her because no one knows about this yet um so I'm going to share this and kind of gauge her reaction as well so let's give her a buzz Hey Erica, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm awesome. What are you up to today? Got my own runs done, stuff like that today. Just cool. Kind of hanging, hanging low on a Saturday. Nice. Yeah. Filming for regularly TV, which is amazing. But I wanted to ring you quickly because I had this idea like roughly eight hours ago, and I'm pretty sure it's like the coolest idea that I've ever had in the whole world. I'm sure. <laughs> And you know what I'm like when I get new ideas and I'm like, oh my gosh, I have to tell you because it's like bubbling inside of me right now. <laughs> okay, let's okay. Are you ready? <laughs> yes. I think, yes. <laughs> okay, so one of the things that I'm definitely wanting to, um, I guess, do more of in the world is working with youth. And I know we've spoken about this before. I kind of shared this with you. And so... I'm going to do a couple of really, 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 really cool things. So the first thing is I'm going to launch a Be Your Brand Mastermind, but it's going to be for teenagers and it's going to be called Young Influencers. What? Right? Oh my God. <laughs> I know. So how cool is this? So the kids come in for three days and I'm talking, I haven't decided yet, like I'll get clear on this because it's just an idea, but I'm thinking like, 13 to 18 and obviously we might take people either side of that if they're like super awesome um, but I'm thinking that the kid comes with one parent so the parents there totally just to also get the information and support them but these are kids with like a really powerful message that totally get the internet that want to put their like stuff online oh that want to change the world like how cool is that? <gasps> So I'm going to do the first one, I'm thinking July, um, I mean that may change, but in my head right now I'm thinking July, I'm thinking Bali, and then obviously go from there, but this is only part one of the idea, okay, <laughs> so, oh, <wow>. so <laughs> I was thinking, yeah, I was thinking about that, and I was like, wow, I really want to do that, obviously, you know, it's a high level event, it's very much working with kind of over overachieving kids that like really, really, really get it, right? And it's really funny because I was thinking about my journey and I was thinking about one of my really early mentors that I started working with when I was 17 and how but he really above and beyond like took me under his wing and he was really like you know there for me and like helped me shift my mindset he really you know I attribute a stack of my success today to how this guy mentored me so what I want to do is I want to do the same thing for someone I want to do the same thing for a teenager but even younger than I was like younger than like 17 18 so that will kind of be the top end but I'm gonna launch it as a scholarship and literally do it as a give back and have kids just apply and we're wow. gonna right and we're gonna so go this is kind of like almost speaking to what the last conversation that we had yes. last kind of meeting. Oh my god. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And so do it where like the person that is the most committed and comes through and actually secures the scholarship, um, you know, again, I haven't fleshed out the details, but at the moment I'm thinking like private access, private mentoring to me, they would obviously get to come to the Young Influencers event completely paid for. Um, they would get access to obviously all my hardcore mindset training, all the online stuff so they can really immerse themselves and work through it. And I just want to like give this um, to a super committed like influencer teenager that wants to change the world. Right. <laughs> I don't even know at this stage, but I'm gonna sit down and I'm gonna flesh out the details and then basically, you know, send an email to you and the rest of the team. This is like all in a one and all like that. I know. It's gonna be amazing. Okay, well, I'm excited and I can't yeah. wait to hear more on the team call and I'm not surprised though. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. We'll Alright, ciao, shit you soon. Okay, bye. I think she likes the idea. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> I'm so excited, right? So excited. I feel like I need to sit down and like flesh it out now and be like, okay, what's it all about? Let's go. All right, snappers, we're gonna go flesh out this brand new freaking idea. Come downstairs and you get to meet my whiteboard. Are you excited? My flip chart is actually my best friend because it houses all of my ideas. Yes, we even have flip chart pens. <laughs> okay. Okay, 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 okay. So let's flesh this out. This is one of the things that I do, by the way. My flip chart is probably my best friend in the whole code because it allows me to draw everything out because I'm super visual. So, first thing that I want to get out of my head is the Be Your Brand. <laughs> Unnecessary voice. Be Your Brand at Young Influences event. Young Influences event, Young Influences training, Young Influences last time. That is feeling good. And I feel like right now it is going to be July. I'm also feeling Bali, but I'm going to change that. Um, but I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, between the ages of 13 to 17, maybe 18, 17, 18, I'm thinking that kind of age bracket. I'm also thinking that we take applications even slightly younger than that, because you know some kids are just really mature. Like when I was 10, I was like a 25 year old. So I get that, <laughs> right? So I don't want to exclude them just because they're age, because they're amazing. And I'm thinking it's going to be three days all about developing studies. Right now. Three days of developing, launching, and accelerating their brand completely through their message. And I think the beauty of this really is going to be that there's so many young people that have powerful things that they're born to share with the world and they're not necessarily sure how to unleash it and how to get it out there and they maybe don't just have the systems and the tools and the support of someone going, yeah, just do it like this, right? But one thing I know for sure is that kids move super fast and they get stuff super fast. I mean, there's stuff that I learned in school, which was so fast. And now I try and do it as an adult, if you can call me an adult. Um, <laughs> it's really hard. Like when I was in school, I learned how to speak French and I was like learning French. And now I'm trying to learn Spanish, kind of, kind of trying. Um, it's really hard. Like I can't even remember anything that I do and then I have to redo it and it's crazy. My point is, I'm really feeling like if we can get to the young influencers and give them all the tools and support them through this process that they can literally blow up, go and take over the internet, influence the world and shift so many people for good. And how crazy is it going to be when you see a 14 year old on your newsfeed and they're talking passionately about something that they believe in and providing solutions and change for the world. I mean even that in itself is inspiring so I just feel like this kids really need this. So, I'm super excited about this. This is feeling good. I also want to flesh out the scholarship um, that I had the idea about as well. So. So, the Young Influencer Scholarship. Now, these ideas are super fresh in my head. They're really fresh in my brain. Um, so I haven't given them a lot of time to digest, but often this is how I digest. I'll sit here and I'll write it out and I'll flesh it out and I'll think about it. So, I'm feeling that the person who gets the scholarship, um, I think it needs to be youth and they need to be under 18. So 17 or below, basically. Um, I'm gonna sit down, I'm gonna flesh out a whole criteria. I'll sit down with morale and work out a whole criteria around who they need to be, what they believe about the world. Um, we'll take them through obviously an application process. Um, we'll take through an application process, which I will probably end up personally looking at all of those because I'm super committed <laughs> to these kids and really feeling out who's committed. 
And then, in thinking that, we will give them access um, to the baby girl brand young influencers. So whoever, whoever basically secures the scholarship is going to have access to be very young influencers mastermind the three-day event. I'm going to give them access to um, the successor for 12 months, which is my um, monthly, monthly, it's my weekly mindset training um, where people dig in and there's literally everything through um, every area of your life and all the mindset internal tools that you need to basically create the change that you're looking to create. So I'm going to give them access to that instantly. I'm also going to give them access to the online empire builder 12 week program, which is all about how to develop a personal brand and it's delivered online over 12 weeks, obviously. Um, so that'll be amazing for them because they can come to this event, immerse themselves, and then really dig into the strategy from that side of things. Oh, of course, important. I am going to give them 12 months private coaching with me. Okay? That feels good. Um, you know what? I had a mentor when I was really young, I was 17, 18, 19, and he really went above and beyond with me, purely because I was so young. Um, and he gave me a lot of his time, and he gave me a lot that he really pushed me, but allowed me to dig into it at such a young age. So I definitely, I definitely want to do that. I feel like something's missing. Be your brain, man, and put some mastermind. Success Hub, 12 months. The online empire built a 12-week course, private 12 months of coaching with me, and... That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do a full day with this person. So I'm going to do one VIP one-on-one -on -one day where we go from early in the morning to late at night, completely immersed in this stuff, just them and me digging in. And depending on where that person is, we'll figure out if I go to them or they come to me, but we'll figure it out. I'm going to do one full day with them. That's feeling good, right? Oh my gosh. If I was like... 14, 15, 16, 17-ish, and someone was like, hey, just show me you're amazing and you want to change the world and you can have this. Like, I would be all over that. I would be working harder to do this than to go to university or do something else. <laughs> so I think that's pretty cool. That's feeling really good. It's feeling good. So this is what I usually do. I usually flesh out my ideas. I write them down. I'm super visual. I'm like, okay, that's feeling good. Now we go on to implementation. So on a team call, I'll sit down with Narelle, who runs my team. I'll run this past her. She'll throw probably 10 things that I've missed into it and challenge some things that might need to change. And then from there, um, we get straight into applying this, into launching it, get straight into the application process, the back end stuff, what we need to deal with all those applications coming through, who's going to look after that. Um, and we bring it to life. So this is literally how content creation, launch creation happens. This is how we go from crazy idea and vision in my head through to actually having it manifest on the other side. <sighs> Feels good. Okay, so I'm in one of those moods where I feel like I don't even want to stop and usually that means I don't want to like spend a lot of time eating and preparing food. So one of the things that I do all the time is um, I make these in smoothies and people like people actually ask me quite a bit like you know what do I put in my smoothies and how does it work and whatever. Um, kind of just make it up to be completely honest um, but share with you what I'm having today if you like. So, there's some banana. <laughs> Let's have a look. We've got some kale. We've got some celery. We've got some blueberries. We've got some almond milk. And maybe some pineapple as well. So generally I do a mix of kind of vegetables stuff as well. So we've got some blueberries. Um, if you guys are wondering, it is all organic. I'm super obsessed with that. Kale. Lots of kale goodness. 
this in here. I feel like I'm on a cooking show. <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> really not. Celery is going down well. Some celery, some pineapple. This is gonna be a good thing. Pineapple is amazing. A lot of people don't put pineapple in smoothies. Um, but I find it just really sweet as it quite a lot, which is awesome. enjoyed this snapshot of one of my days there's been a lot going on today and just know that you know every day for an entrepreneur is generally totally different I mean tomorrow I'm back to back to back with meetings um, the next day I'm speaking at an event and then more meetings and then some time to do some content um, running a couple of courses online and then fly out to Costa Rica and then going and speaking in Dallas and then Peru and then Ibiza and then Barcelona and then Switzerland and then Bali and then New Zealand and then Australia so it's just kind of crazy right so obviously in LA right now and it just totally depends on where you are what's going on what your intention is for that day but it's been cool to share this day with you and as you can see we're getting close to sunset here and I am not gonna lie I'm gonna switch out this green juice for a wine very 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 soon it's Saturday night I'm actually gonna stay in tonight hang out um, continue working on the book and have some sweet sweet introvert time so I uh, hope you've enjoyed it and can't wait to hang out with you on the next episode peace out